Okay, so is everyone getting my screen? Yes, sir. So we were discussing regarding the orthographic projection of solids. So we have discussed uh, a lot of things in the previous class. So how we do the orthographic projections. So it is basically uh, not very tough. Only thing is that we have to be able to visualize the solids in front of the planes all right so we have to visualize the solid in front of the planes so it becomes easy that way so in the last class we discussed a lot of things so we discussed what are the front views top view and left hand side views all right so how to do, do that all right so we can use the arc projection or we can draw a 45 degree line and from there we can project it up to that point from there particularly upwards horizontally up to that line particularly upwards all right so we can use various ways of projection of course arc is quicker and i would prefer the arc so we saw how we have to visualize the object so an isometric view so this is the isometric view so isometric view of a particular object will be given so we have to visualize what it will look from the front from the side and from the top so in the last class we discussed this in detail right so we saw how it will how the solution will look like so this is the solution of the required problem so this is the isometric view and that view it is now from that particular view we have now developed the top view so this is the top view this is the front view from this side all right so this is the front view and this is the side view from this side so we try to develop the front view of different objects some complicated objects as well all right and some simple geometrical objects right so this is the front view so this is the front view and when we see from top we will see the top view so we saw how we can develop all of this right so simple geometrical objects so basically in uh, exam so the isometric view will be given this is the isometric view and from there you have to develop the orthographic projections in fact it may be other way around also so uh, in uh, in your in fact in your course it is there so you the orthographic projections will be given so the orthographic projections will be given and from there you have to draw the isometric view so we will come to that in the later part when we will be uh, doing the isometric view how to draw the isometric view we will be doing that so uh, this is an object here all right so we develop the top view front view right and then we moved on to simpler objects so here we have a triangular prism all right so base of 40 mm side and axis 50 mm long and we saw how it is resting on the horizontal plane and how it will look in the top view and in the front view so in the last class we discussed various things all right so this is the top view and this is the front view and this is the front view all right so this is the solution so we discussed like that so up to here yeah so this is a cube which is resting on the horizontal plane so on the horizontal plane this cube is resting so we have this cube so when we see from this side what we will see is this plane so this plane the a b c a b f e plane and bcgf plane which is hidden in our site now all right so it is hidden so this this plane it is hidden so when we see from this side so we will see this side of the view and this side of the view all right so that will be projected here so this edge this edge will be projected here on this edge similarly the edge which is hidden here that will be projected here Right. so we will have the front view in fact how to develop the front view so first of all what we will do is we will draw the top view because top view it is directly the 
ABCD plane right so the ABCD plane is drawn here right so they have mentioned EF EFGH so those are hidden so that is why inside so E is hidden so when you will see from top you will see A E will be hidden behind A again you will see B F will be hidden behind B again you will see C B will be hidden behind uh, sorry G will be hidden behind C all right so this is the cube similarly you will see D and H will be hidden behind D so they have uh, it is uh, shown in this manner so E F G H are written inside so it is hidden and A B C D is written outside so you will see A B C D from outside so from there what we do we project the point A upwards all right and then we project the point C upwards here all right so that means this is projected here or we project this here and upward here right so ultimately we get this front view right this is the front view which we get so ultimately we have to draw the front view so this is the front view so up to here we had discussed in the previous class so today we will talk about so this is a hexagonal, hexagonal prism all right so the first thing that comes into mind is the hexagon so we have a hexagon so this is the hexagon we have a hexagon all right and it is a prism so it is a hexagonal prism so if i so there are six edges so this one edge will be in this manner all right then we have this one all right so we will have the hexagonal prism in this manner all right and it has one of its rectangular faces so you see rectangular faces parallel to the hp so so suppose this edge this face so this is a rectangular face so this particular face here all right so we have this rectangular face and it is parallel to hp right so we can here we can visualize the prism like this so the one of the edge one of the face of the prism will be parallel to the hp right and then we have to develop the hexagon in this manner above it right so the hexagon is lying like this is perpendicular to the and its axis is perpendicular to the vp all right so it is perpendicular to the vp and 3.5 cm above the ground above the ground draw its projection when the nearer end is 2 cm in front of the vp side of the base uh, in front of the vp side of base 2.5 cm long and axis is uh, so 2.5 cm long axis is 5 cm long so first of all what we will do is so first of all let us draw the x y axis so this is the x y line intersection line right so it has one of its rectangular faces parallel to the hp and it is perpendicular to the vp so when we will see the front view all right so when we will see the front view we will see directly the face of the hexagon so we will have the hexagon in this manner we will have the hexagon in this manner and 3.5 cm above ground so this line this line it is three this face that is this face of the hexagon this face of the hexagon it is 3.5 cm
3.5 centimeter above the uh, HP that is the horizontal plane so above the ground that is same thing right nearer end is 2 centimeter in front of VP so now we have to draw the projection so when we will see now the top view so we have said that the hexagon is somewhat like this here alright so I have I um, mean represented as a cube so it is uh, like this here so when we see from the front we will see this face directly so this is the hexagon alright so this is the hexagon and when we see from the top alright so we will see this face this face and this face so we will project it and it is written the nearer end is 2 cm in front so it is 2 cm in front of the VP so it is 2 cm in front of the VP this is 2 cm ok so this is 2 cm then so these are these are all 2.5 cm so the edges edge of the hexagon are all 2.5 cm so we have already discussed in detail how to draw a hexagon alright so if if the edges are 2.5 cm that means we have to draw a circle basically so we have to draw a circle whose radius is 2.5 cm and within that we have to divide the circle into uh, 6 uh, this one divisions so we will have so here what we have to do is the face has to be parallel to the HP alright so we will have this face this face a face like this sorry let me draw that once again so we have the circle the diameter of the circle is 2.5 centimeter so what we will do is the edge has to be parallel to the this one uh, this uh, HP okay this face all right and from there we will draw the hexagon all right so that we have to keep in mind so that hexagon is drawn so then it's nearer and this two, 2 centimeter in front so this is 2 centimeter in front of the VP so here now we are drawing top view and the axis is 5 cm long so the hexagonal prism so the prism will be 5 cm long right and then we have to project it here so this is one face this is one face so we will see three faces of the hexagon right so this this face this face and this face right so this face and this face and this face from the top Right, so while we see from the top so yeah so this is the hexagonal prism so we have the prism in front so it is given this is 2 cm alright this is 3.5 cm above the ground so this is 3.5 cm alright and the axis so the edge so we can consider this edge here alright so we can consider this edge here alright so that edge is given as 5 cm and the edges of the hexagon it is 2.5 cm so if you see from the front first of all what you will see is so this is x y so we have to draw uh, wait ok ok sorry sorry axis is perpendicular to the VP and 3.5 cm above the ground ok axis is 3.5 cm so we have to so the center of the circle will be 3.5 cm above the ground ok so this is 3.5 cm sorry sorry so correction ok so this center of the circle is 3.5 cm so we draw the circle first ok so 
Ya. So we draw the circle like this in this manner, right? And then we inscribe the hexagon. And the edge, the bottom edge of the hexagon has to be parallel to the HP. Okay, so this center is 3.5 centimeters. So okay, that is the correction, not this one. Okay, this O, this point O is 3.5 centimeter. So this is 3.5 centimeter. So at 3.5 centimeter, we'll have the hexagon. Now, when you see from the top, when you see from the top, so you will see this face, this face, and this face, which is hidden in this side now. All right. So this this face. So you will see B C three two the face here from the top all right and then b a 1 2 so this face you will see and d c 3 uh, this uh, this point they have not named anyway all right so so from when you see from the top so this will be the top view okay so this will be the top view all right So this plane over here, this plane over here, it will be projected on the horizontal plane here. Okay. Again, this plane, this plane, so B point will be projected straight down. So this is B point. Two point will be projected straight down. This is two point. One will be projected straight down and A will be projected straight down. So this is one plane over here. So this is the projection. So similarly, we will have the other other plane as well. Okay, and when we see from the front, when we will see from the front, we will see this face. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So this face being projected on this plane over here, on the vertical plane. That is. So that is the front view. So this is the front view. And this is the top view. So to, to obtain the top view, we will drop projections. So we will drop projections. We will drop projections. Right? We will drop projections. So at two centimeter, we will cut them. Okay. Okay. And, and then again at five centimeter, we will cut. Them. So basically, this is the. This is one plane. This is one plane. And this is one way. So this is the top view projection of the hexagonal prism. So this is the solution. Right? So we have the solution here. So this is 3.5 centimeter. Right? And this is 2 centimeter. And from here to here, it is given this is 5 centimeter. Okay, then again we come to this point over here. So a square pyramid. All right. So this is a square pyramid. So we have a square first of all. So we have a square. All right and the base is 40 mm side and the axis is 65 so we we have this so if i see from this side so i will see the prism like this all right so this is 45 40 mm all right and this is 65 mm mm okay so a square pyramid base 40 mm side and excess 65 mm long has its base in the VP. One edge of the base is inclined at 30 degree to the HP. 
and the corner contained by the edge is on the HP. Draw its position. Okay. So, so how is the pyramid standing? So we, uh, so we have this plane over here. Okay, so a square pyramid with base for so and axis so and has its base in the VP. One of its bases in the VP. Okay, one of the bases in the VP and is inclined at 30 degree to the HP. So the base of the pyramid it is lifted by 30 degree and it is actually in this manner. Right. So first of all what we will do is we will consider the pyramid we will consider the pyramid to be sitting on the HP right to be sitting on the HP so when we will see from this side what we will see is like this Right. So, first of all, let us draw the x, y line. All right. So, x and y. So, it is sitting on the HP. So, we have this is the pyramid. All right. And if we see from the top, all right. So, we will see. So it is, this is the square. Alright, and if we see from the top, so we will see the planes here. So this is the point here. So this point will be projected here. So this is 40 mm. Alright, so this, this is the base, which is 40 mm. And this is the axis, which is 65 mm. Now, its base, base is inclined at 30 degree to the HP and corner contained by that edge is on the HP. Draw. So, what we will do is now, so this we have to rotate it. Alright, so either you rotate it in this manner. So, this is 30 degree. Okay. So, this is 30 degree. Then what we will do? So we will project the horizontal lines here. All right. So this point we will project here. So this point we will project here. All right. We will project this point over here. All right. Then we will project this point over here and we will project this point over here so from this one we will we will see one edge in this manner so this face that is okay this face this face we will see from the top so this is the face we will see okay and then the other two faces All right so it is it is rotated by 30 degree all right so that is what has been done all right so a square pyramid base 40 mm and axis 65 mm long has its base in the vp okay has its base in the vp sorry sorry again again i made a mistake okay so nobody is actually, uh, I mean, correcting me. That is the bigger problem. So nobody is like, uh, I mean, interested and I am only just giving my lectures and like that. So a square pyramid of 40 mm side, axis 65 mm long, has its base in the VP. So it is in the VP. Alright, so...
it is in this manner. Okay, it is in this manner that is, it is basis on the VP and it is inclined at 30 degree to the HP. Right, so now we have to rotate this. So we have to rotate it by 30 degree that is. Alright, so so if I if I visualize if I if I want to visualize the thing, so we have this plane. Okay, and the base is in this manner, alright. So it is inclined at 30 degree to the HP, sorry. So it is at inclined at 30 degree to the HP, so it is lifted up. Okay, one edge of the base, sorry. So we draw the 30 degree line right, and we have the square base in this map. Right, and the corner contained by that edge is on the HP, so it is on the HP. Right, and from here now we have to this is the axis and we have to draw the prism like this right so this is the prism all right so if I see from the front so this is the prism okay so if I see from the front here So if I see from the front here, first of all, let us draw the x, y axis, x and y. So I will see this is 30 degree. Okay, so this is 30 degree. So one of the base, edge of the base is inclined at 30 degree. So this is 30 degree to the HP and the, and the corner contained by that edge. So it is on the HP. All right, now we have to draw the 40 mm square over this 30 mm. 30 degree line right so this is the base of the prism right and this is the faces surfaces of the prism so when we will see from the front now when we see from the top so we have to project this okay so we have to project this and we have to project this and this okay so obviously it will start from right here okay and from there so you can see we have to join up to this point so this is the projection of this point here all right so we have to join up to this point okay and then from here we have to join up to this point so we will see three faces from the top one is uh, sorry two faces from the top one is this face and one is the other face here all right so we have this prism over here so when we will see from the front, what we will see is this base. Alright, the base is on the PP itself. So this is the base. So this is the base on the PP itself. So it is inclined. 
it is inclined at 30 degree so this is 30 degree so we will draw that square Okay, so this is 30 degree and we will see the point O also so we will see basically this phases all right so the surfaces of the prism we will see so this is the point O all right and this is the front view now if I see from the top if I see from the top so I will see this face this surface over here all right and this one okay so this one and this one so this one which is this one and this face which is this one so we will project that okay so this will be here and this will be here and this we have to project down up to uh, 65 all right so o will be projected up to this point so we have to project it down up to 65 mm i think it is given here yeah 65 mm we have to project it down and from there we have to so a the projection of a we have to join it then the projection of b or this edge or this point we have to join it okay so we will join it and the other faces so this one is by dotted line because that will not be seen okay that will not be seen so that is how we get the top view and the front view so this is the front view okay and this is the top view this is the top view. right so point o is projected 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 and this up to here so this is 65 mm which is the axis given so 65 mm all right yeah somebody wants to say something yeah somebody wants to say something And this is the this is the base, right? It is uh, 40 mm given, 40 mm side. So this is 40 mm side, and the length of the axis of the pyramid is 65 mm. All right, one of the edge, one of the corner contained by that edge is on the HP. So it is on the HP and it is at 30 degree to the HP. All right, and it is at 30 degree to the HP. So now we have a triangular prism. So now it is asked about a triangular prism. So a triangular prism, 40 mm side and height 65 mm. Again, is resting on the HP. Is resting on the HP. So now it is on the HP. And one of its rectangular faces with the axis parallel to the VP on one of its rectangular faces okay okay so a triangular prism so here you see a triangular prism base 40 mm side and height 65 mm is resting on the hp on one of its rectangular faces 
okay so obviously when we will see it that uh, this is a triangular prism okay so we have this prism so when we see from side we have this prism over here so we it will have so uh, this is the prism here all right so we have the prism like this all right and it is resting on the HP on one of its rectangular faces with axis parallel to the VP. All right, so it is in this manner. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so it is in this manner. So again, we will start. So it is very simple problem actually. So we have a triangular prism. We have a triangular prism. So the triangular prism looks like this. So this is a triangular prism. And base is 40 mm sides. So these are all 40 mm. Right, then height is 65 mm. This is height. Length is 65 mm. And it's resting on the HP on one of its rectangular faces. So one of the rectangular faces of the prism is resting on the HP. With the axis parallel to VP. Okay, sorry, the axis will be parallel to VP. So it will not be in this manner. It will be in this manner. So axis is parallel to VP. Axis is parallel to the VP. So the axis will be parallel. So we will have the faces in this manner. Okay. So we will have the prism in this manner. Okay. So we will have. So this is the prism over here. All right. And this will be the horizontal plane and this will be the vertical plane okay and it will be resting on the horizontal plane on one of its rectangular faces all right and the axis will be parallel to the vp all right so if i see from this side so first of all we have to determine the height of the pyramid so what we will do is we will start by the left hand side view all right so we will draw the pyramid here in this manner all right or, or this uh, prism or this face of the prism all right so this is face 40 mm 40 mm 40 mm so this is drawn so now what we will do is we will draw the front view so how to draw the front view i draw projection from here simple projection from here and it is height, uh, this length, height is 65, that means the length basically, all right, so this length is 65, so I will see at here if this is the end point or a start point, so this will be 65 mm, so this will be 65 mm, all right, so now we have to draw the top view. So to draw the top view, what we will do is, so obviously this is 40 mm, this is 40 mm, all right, and we will draw this, so this is 40 mm, now we have to get this, so I can project it down here, from here I can rotate it up to this point, all right, so uh, it will be, uh, I mean started from this point, okay, so, so what I will do is, So I will first of all draw a projector down, all right, draw a projector down. So from this point I will project the arc, all right. So this is the edge of the prism, okay. So this is one edge of the prism. Then from here I will draw another arc, okay.
then from here I can draw another arc and this is the prism that I will get so this is the topmost head I mean edge so this edge of the prism so this is that this is that edge so we will see this face all right and the face which is on this side from the top all right so these two faces we will see from the top all right and from the front we will see only this face this face we will see from the front here okay so again we will try that so the prism it is actually in this manner it is lying in this manner okay it is lying in this manner in front of the VP and the HP so it is one of its rectangular edge or face one of its rectangular faces is resting on the HP on one of its rectangular faces so it is resting on the HP with one of its rectangular face and the axis is parallel to the VP and the axis so this is the axis it is parallel to the VP right so to draw draw this one so what we will do is we will draw the left hand side view first all right so left hand side view is directly the face of the triangle so this triangle all right so this is the x y line all right so this is the x y line so we will draw this triangular face first okay and then from there on we will draw the projectors right so we start from a particular point here and the length of the I mean the prism is given 65 mm so this is the projection of this point here so this is the projection well, of this face uh, let me take another So we will see this face being projected here. Right, so that is the front view. That is the front view. Now how to get the top view? How to get the top view? So to get the top view, what we will do is we will drop vertical projectors all right we will draw vertical projectors and from this point we will draw an arc like this from taking this radius taking this radius we will draw an arc okay again we will project this point straight vertically down here right then from here taking this as radius we will draw an arc okay then again for this point taking this as radius from here to here taking this as radius we will draw an arc and we will draw the top view projections so this is the top view of the pyramid not pyramid sorry prism all right of the prism the triangular prism okay yeah so that is how we do that and this is the axis so this is the axis marked here all right so this is the axis marked here so that is the axis there all right but thing is that this plane this face this face is basically this face of the prism that we are seeing from the front okay and from when we see from the top we will see this face and this face 
so this two faces over here okay so that is the projection of triangular prism so draw the projection of a pentagonal prism base 25 mm size and axis 50 mm long resting on one of its horizontal faces on the hp and axis inclined at 45 degree to the pp okay so here what we have is so when we see this so one of the edge of the pentagonal prism is resting on the hp one of the face and the axis so this axis it is making an angle of 45 degree to the vp all right so the pentagonal prism will be in this manner okay so how to draw that so first of all what we will do we will consider the prism to be perpendicular to the vp okay so we will draw the prism first so we will uh, here is the face of the pentagon here all right so this is the face and we will draw the projections as we have done in the earlier case all right and this so here uh, so this will be in the dotted line because this face we won't see so this will be dotted line because this face we won't see all right so this these two faces we will see from the top so this face and this face okay so that is the first step then once this is drawn what we will do is we have to rotate this at 45 degree all right so we can rotate this at 45 degree so we have to draw the projectors from here and we have to draw the 45 degree angle so first step is this one all right so we have shown here so that is the first step so we will consider the prism we will consider the prism to be perpendicular to the vp perpendicular to the vp and lying on the hp so this is done so now what we have to do we have to rotate this projection by 45 degrees so we will rotate it here by 45 degrees okay so once this is done then again we will project the projectors upward vertically upward all right so all the points so this points will be here this points will be here so this we have to project it but right? this will we have to project it similarly this we will project it okay and then from this face also we will project horizontally in this manner okay and then we will draw the front view here so this is the top view this is the top view rotated at 45 degree all right so when we will rotate it by 45 degree we will get the top view now we have to get the front view so to get the front view we will drop projectors vertically upward and horizontally to the right all right and then we will join them so here you see we have first of all we have drawn this we have rotated this projection at an angle of 45 degree 
product so as soon as we have rotated it so you can see and then we have dro dropped projectors vertically upward all right so we will see this face now we will see this face and this face over here all right and this this face all right so one two three and the other faces that is the dotted lines will be the hidden one all right will be the hidden one so in the front view we will not see this face we will see this face so this face and of course the bottom bottom i mean uh, which is hidden here so this this face is hidden so we will see that in the front view okay so the basic point is here you see we have we must not confuse with the points all right so the points where they are matching we have to be very careful with that so here the in the face we have 1 2 3 4 5 points all right so a is this point so it will match with this point here all right so this is the bottom edge over here bottom face so that will ma match with this bottom face over here all right similarly similarly this is the bottom face here all right and we have this edge done all right and d so d is the topmost sorry b is the topmost point all right and we will project it upwards vertically upwards and we will project the point b and we will get this one similarly the point c up to this point we will project it up and from here we will get this intersection here so we will get the c so ultimately we will get this face over here all right so we will get this face over here similarly in this face also all right so this face so here this face will be hi hidden here all right so you will not see in this is the face which is representing this particular line over here okay so that is the face over there and this is hidden on this projection here but here what will happen is that we will uh, i mean we will also not see it will be hidden but we have to show it with dotted line all right so it will be on the other side of the i mean uh, view all right so from here also the same projections so p is projected upwards up to this point all right and again so p and b will lie on the same level here all right so we will project it up to this point and we will get that face all right so ultimately we will get that face also so this is one face of the prism all right and this face you won't see from the front when you will see from the front you won't see it. so that face is that is why it is represented by dotted line okay so once you get this two faces so it is easy you join c to c and this is one of the face which will be visible this is one of the face which will be visible then this will be the one one of the face which will be visible all right and this will be one of the face which will be visible okay so that is the solution over here okay so another way is by uh, rotating here to, uh, so here we have a 45 degree line and from there we have drawn parallel projectors all right and here one thing is uh, missed is this particular view we have to draw it here the pentagonal prism we have to draw it here all right so from there we have to project all right and wherever the projections 
they intersect we can get the view so ultimately it is the same thing all right uh, this is it should be easier and ultimately it, this is just an explanation of the things all right so what we are doing so we are just rotating this about 45 degree from there from each point we are drawing dropping projectors so from b we are dropping projectors here and from b similarly we are dropping projectors and we are getting this point <laughs> similarly for p also so p is hidden here so p is hidden here so we have to drop projectors vertically up all right and similarly from here also we drop this so we get this edge so this edge we get all right so similarly here what it is done it is straight away it is projected at the 45 degree angle all right using parallel projectors all right whichever way you find it easy you do all right but thing is that you should not confuse the points the points should be where they intersect you have to be very careful all right to i um, mean uh, visualize the points the points where they will intersect okay so here it is given draw the projection of a cylinder 75 mm diameter and 100 mm long lying on the ground so lying on the ground so it is lying on the ground with its axis inclined at 30 degree so the axis is inclined so we have this face over here and it is in this manner okay it is lying on the ground and this axis it is at an angle of 30 degree to the vp all right so if you see from the top if you see from the top obviously you will see the cylinder at an angle of 30 degree all right so you can straight away draw that no problem all right so this is the top view but thing is that only thing is that you have to be uh, i mean you have to get the points all right where the points are then you have to project it so for doing that what we will do is we will consider first step is to consider the cylinder to be parallel to the i mean perpendicular to the vp so we will consider one cylinder i mean we will consider the face here so this is the face all right and we will draw the cylinder here in this manner all right and then we will rotate it to the i mean uh, required degree so we will mark the points the points we have to be marked so one is of course this these two points and one is this this point so one is this point and the other edges here over here then we have to mark at least one two points here all right and then two points here sorry here all right so from there on we will project uh, vertically upwards the uh, projectors all right so we will drop the projectors vertically upwards like this all right and here also we will drop the projectors vertically upwards like this so like this and from here we will drop in this manner all right and we will get the ellipse all right and then there will be a second ellipse for this one so it will be dotted which will not be visible and this will be i mean plane here and then we will have the cylinder like this okay so that is the fun view so this is the fun view and this is the top view very easy okay so yeah so this is the cylinder so first of all we have we have drawn the circular face and the uh, top view considering the cylinder to be perpendicular to the vp all right and then we have to get this demarcations this points all right so these points are necessary all right so this point using these points only we will complete the drawing here okay so once we get the points here and on this 
top view we will rotate the top view all right to the required degree 30 degree in this case all right so the points are marked so the points are marked here 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 all right similarly here 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 and here so once these points are marked we will drop this vertical projections upwards all right so these are the vertical projectors upwards we will drop vertically up and the horizontally we will drop these projectors all right so suppose for this point a so this point a comes up to here and we have this point a so this is the point a similarly for c we have this one and ultimately we will get the intersection for various points and we will have to draw the face here so this face if you see from the front you will be it will be feasible the entire face will be feasible yes and and up to this diameter or up to this x i mean uh, edge also this entire surface will also be feasible so this edge will be also be visible all right here this part this section will be visible but this section won't be visible so this is dotted this is dotted and this is in a dark line okay so that is the projection of the cylinder all right so this is this is 75 mm given here so this is 75 mm given and no sorry diameter so diameter is 75 mm so this is diameter is 75 mm all right diameter is 75 mm and the length of the cylinder length of the cylinder is 100 mm okay and it is rotated to 30 degrees so this this for first of all first step is to draw this and this then we rotate it we rotate this projection to 30 degree so this is the top view directly okay once it is done then we from here we drop the projectors and we get the front view so this is the front view okay so the cylinder is lying in this manner like this all right on on the horizontal plane and it is at 30 degree to the vertical plane axis of the cylinder is 30 degree to the vertical plane so a hexagonal pyramid okay hexagonal pyramid base 25 mm side so hexagonal okay so it is so we have so a hexagon and base is 25 mm so this is 25 mm given so this is the pyramid hexagonal pyramid base 25 mm and axis 50 mm long so if i see from the uh, front i will see this to be 50 mm so this is 50 mm long has an edge on its base on the ground okay of its base on the ground so one of the edge of the base so one of the edge of the base is on the hp so one of the edge of the hexagon is on the hp its axis is inclined at 30 degree to the ground and parallel to the vp so the hexagon is actually it is uh, i mean the face is 30 degree all right so we have this uh, sorry so we have this face suppose all right so it is at a 30 degree so we have to draw the hexagon here All right, on this uh, plane. So on the edge. So this is one edge. 
we have this one here all right so hexagon is in this manner all right so we have this this is the base of the hexagon all right and so it is at so this is 50 mm all right so if i if i drop this one so this is this edge is 50 mm so it is i hope you can make out so it is uh, i mean it is uh, tilted to our side okay so it is lifted up so if i see from this side what i will see is this is the xy so this is axis is inclined at 30 degree to the ground so this axis so this is 30 degree okay not this one so this is 30 degree and the pyramid is in this manner okay so first of all uh, and this is one edge over here so we will have uh, one edge here all right and these are two faces so one face we will see so one face we will see and this three faces we will see so these three faces we will see okay so that is the pyramid okay the ground and parallel to the VP so draw its projection so first of all what we will do is here it is given here so first of all we will draw the hexagon in this manner so it is first of all considered to be lying on the i mean standing on the hp okay so it is standing on the hp so we draw the hexagon all right the top view first we draw the top view first so this is the top view so we draw the top view first from the top view we drop vertical projection upward we drop vertical projection upward we drop vertical projection upward all right and this will be 60 50 mm long so this is 50 mm long all right so this is 50 mm long so this is the center point of the pyramid so this is so we will see when we see from the front side we will see this face so one is this face we will see and one is this face we will see all right so these are the this is the face okay and the rest faces will be hidden now it is given its axis is inclined at 30 degree so what we do we then rotate this drawing this projection so that this axis so that this axis makes an angle of 30 degree all right so when we rotate this drawing so we have this front view over here so this is the front view so from the front view then we will drop projections vertically down all right we will drop projections vertically down Then again from the initial top view, initial I mean this base, alright, so we will drop horizontal projections in this manner. Okay, so now when it will be rotated, so you can see, so when we see from the top, we will see this base over here. So this is the base. Alright, so this is the base. So we will see this side. So we will see E, D, D, C and C, B is what we will see from the top. So E1, D1, D1, C1 we will see from the top. And this faces E, F, F, A and A, B. These three faces will be hidden. This, I mean, three edges, sorry, the edges. Right? In fact, the entire base of the pyramid will be hidden all right we will not see from the top we will not see from the top so from the top what we will see is this three faces so o e d 
so o e d is one phase which we will see similarly d o c we will see d o c we will see d o c and b o c we will see so b o c we will see so this edge this two edge a o and f o all right so they will be hidden behind so they will be hidden behind all right in fact f a uh, f e f f a and a a b all right so they will be also hidden behind okay so that is how we draw the top view so this is the top view and this is the front view of the pyramid okay the hexagonal pyramid so first we assume that the hexagonal base of the hexagon is lying on the hp and is standing straight this standing straight then the axis is rotated to the required rotation so 30 degree to the hp to the ground all right and is rotated so from there again we have dropped the projectors we have dropped the projectors we have dropped the projectors all right similarly consecutively from the different points we will drop the projectors here here all right and this one and this one here all right and once we have the points of intersection we will join them to form the base of the pyramid now while drawing the pyramid you have to um, and visualize you have to think which edges you will see so when you will see from the top definitely you will see only this three edges all right so this three edges will be hidden so a a1 b1 a1 f1 and f1 e1 so those has to be in dotted lines all right similarly this two edge f o n o a so f1 o1 and a1 o1 will be in dotted line all right so this is the final drawing final solution all right final solution so this is this is the front view this is the front view and this is the top view okay <coughs> then we have this problem so draw the projection of a cone base 75 mm diameter so diameter of the cone is 75 mm and axis is 100 mm long lying on the hp on one of its generators with the axis parallel to the pp all right so so we have the cone we have the cone and the co i mean the cone is in such a manner the cone is in such a manner that the axis all right so the axis is parallel to the pp all right so it is lying on the hp all right it is lying on the hp so this is how it will look all right so it is it is lying on the hp all right so first of all again we will think that it is standing straight so it is on the hp in this manner all right so this is the cone then we will drop it all right this side or this side whatever way we you drop all right so when you see now first of all from the top what we will see is 
so this is the base of the cone and from the front we will see the front view projection of the cone so this is the front view projection and this is the top view projection now we will drop it such that this is lying on the HP right so it is lying on the HP like this so it is lying on the HP so to do that first of all we draw the base of the cone or the top view projection of the cone so this is the base all right and as in previous I um, mean examples again we mark the important points of the circle so we basically divide the circle into uh, 12 parts okay we divide the circumference of the circle into 12 parts and then we draw the cone over here so this is the cone it is standing now okay from the points we project the points up to this line here all right so then what we do we drop it okay so when you drop it you will see this bottom side of the cone all right so that is what we are seeing here so this is the top view all right so this is the top view so how to get the top view how to get the top view so once you have rotated this one so again from here we will so these are the points of intersection or I mean uh, where the projectors are intersecting so from there we will drop it vertically down all right again similarly from this circle over here we will drop horizontal projectors vertically horizontally to the right all right and we will get the in I mean intersection points here so these are the intersection points we will get so once these intersection points are obtained so we will join them and we will form the ellipse which is the top view of the base of the cone the top view of the base of the cone and this is the cone which is lying on the HP okay so the cone so it is in uh, this manner so it is this is the base of the cone and it is lying on the HP in this manner okay so if you see from top so you will see this face and this edge okay so this is the front view uh, sorry top view so this is the top view and this is the front view okay an axis is parallel to the PP the axis is parallel to the PP so a square headed bolt so we have a square headed bolt so 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 the neck is it is square all right and it is uh, 125 mm long all right so the axis is so here you see axis is parallel to the HP okay so it is parallel to the HP and it is inclined at 45 degree to the uh, this uh, PP okay so the axis is I mean uh, 45 degree so it will be in this manner so uh, I'll guess uh, so this is a square headed bolt here all right so initially 
we will consider it to be so in the I mean uh, I mean perpendicular to the VP all right the axis is considered perpendicular to the VP so this is what we get so first of all we will draw the front view all right so we will draw the front view the square of 25 mm diameter so this is 25 mm all right so this is 25 mm all right and So this is the square neck over here. All right. So this is the square neck. Okay. Uh, or total total. I mean, description of the thing is not given. So anyway, it is. Uh, I mean, this is the square neck over here. All right. So we will. This is the fun view when we will consider it the axis to be perpendicular to the VP. Okay. And then we will drop the projectors vertically down. We will drop the projectors vertically down. And we will get the top view. All right. So this face and this face will be visible from the top. So these are the two faces. All right. And these are the two faces. All right. Then again, similarly here also we will have another two faces. All right. So those are the two faces here. All right. And then we will have we will see this entire neck. 125 mm long, so it is here being projected like this. So it is 45, it is inclined at 45 degree to the VP. So ultimately, what we do, we will now rotate this projection at a 45 degree angle. Now, once we have this top view, so this is now the top view. So this is the face, so this is the face over here. All right, so this is the face. Similarly, this face is this one. All right. So once we have this, we will project vertically upward. All right. Vertically upward, we will project. And from this particular projection, and this particular projection, so the projections will be projected in the horizontal manner all right so towards the right so we will have this projectors here all right then we have to make out where it intersects all right the circle here you see so these are the points of the circle and these are the points of the circle so it is projected upwards like this it is projected upwards like this so ultimately and from here it is projected up like this so we will have the points of intersection and we will join them to form the face of the ellipse. All right. So this is what we will see from the front. All right. So this is the front view. So here it is given a hexagonal prism base 40 mm side and there is a hole of 40 mm diameter. All right. So you can see so this hole when you rotate it all right so it is lifted up it is lifted up so when you rotate it so these edges are not seen you will see only the outer rim you will see only the outer rim and this inner edge you will see so here this is uh, i mean uh, one important observation here is here you see So try to visualize the thing, okay? Try to visualize. So we have this. So it is a hexagonal bolt kind of, all right, or a nut, all right, all right. So we have this, and it is. It has a hole in the center. So it has a hole in the center. Now, as soon as you rotate it, so here it is lying on the HP. It is lying on the HP. As soon as you rotate it. So this is the orientation of the hole now. So this is the orientation of the hole. Now when you will see from the top, you will definitely see the outer circumference here of the hole. So the outer circumference of the hole will be seen. So the outer circumference of the hole will be seen. So this is the outer circumference. 
Now when you will see the inner circumference, you will see for some, some parts, the inner circumference of this I mean uh, edge over here, you will see some part. So that part is here. Like through the hole, that means you will observe this circumference over here. And the rest of the things, you have to notify it in dotted lines. So these are all dotted lines here. So this is the bottom, bottom, I mean, out opening of the hole, all right? And this part will be visible through the hole. So through the hole, through the hole, you will observe this part, okay? So that is, uh, I mean, basically the idea that you need to incul inculcate to draw the projection of solids. Other things are very easy. So. Again, the first step is you draw the hexagon here. Once the hexagon is drawn, you draw the circular opening here. From there, you drop vertical projectors up. All right, and you draw the front view. So the front view, you will see this edge, AB, AD, and this edge, and this one. All right, so here it is, this face. So this face over here. So this is the face and this face over here this face so this is the face over here and this face at an inclined position so this is the face okay and the uh, hole will be inside now as soon as you rotate it so once you obtain this you have to rotate it get the important points and from there again drop the vertical projectors down now Right, vertical projectors down, and from here you will drop the horizontal project projectors to the right. All right, and you get the intersection point, and you draw the figure. So a square prism, all right, has a base 40 mm. So this is now, so up till now, so up till now, uh, what we have been discussing is the axis is always either inclined to the VP or inclined to the HP. And if it is inclined to the HP, the axis will be parallel to the VP. And if it is inclined to the VP, the axis will be parallel to the HP. All right. So it would, I mean, one way or the other, the axis was parallel to one of the planes. All right. So up till now, that is what we have discussed. All right. So here also see, you see so axis, this axis is parallel to the HP. Okay. So my data is over. Okay, uh, the video is video is being done. You you, you can uh, again see that because anyway tomorrow also I will uh, repeat the things. Tomorrow also I will repeat the things. Uh, or I think uh, what does sir say? I think uh, yes, the time already over. I think we will uh, stop here now and tomorrow we will continue with this one. Okay, so. Uh, and uh, one more thing that your uh, syllabus for second, second session, second CI is your projection, okay? Projects, orthography projections. That is the module 2. So this projection of solids will be there? Yes, yes. Yeah. Complete projection. Yes. Complete orthography projection. Yes. Module 2. Yes, yes. And. The remaining part will be in the CIE tree.